This video for dental assistant or patient who come to a dentist and don't know what uh, are the tube number in your mouth. So I'm Dr. Lok Win. I've been doing this for 20 something years. I want to show you uh, when the dentist in America are talking about your tube number. Uh, let's start with the upper right side and go to upper left side and go to lower left side and go to the right side. So whenever you look at the person mouth, right, this is, imagine this is one of your patients. When you look at straight, have them big smiling. You can imagine right here on this side here, this is called the upper right side. Um, this is the second molar, and this is the first molar. So the third molar is actually way in the back here. This is called a wisdom tube. In this uh, model, the wisdom tube is not present. So. Number one is here, number two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, I repeat, number one is a wisdom tube. It could be impact underneath the bone or it could be attracted only on this model. But this is number two, so one here missing, one missing, two here, three here. This is called first molar second molar and third molar so the wisdom tube we can call it either number one or we can call upper right first molar uh, third molar or we can call it just the uh, upper right wisdom tube that's way in here so again number one number two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 right here. Okay, so again, this is the bottom tube. 17 here miss, uh, is a wisdom tube. Number 16 is the wisdom tube, it's not present in the model. But here is number 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 here, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Again, if you look at the patient mount here, I just want to show you really clear. This is a lower arc. This is number 17 here. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32 is not present. I'm hoping you see that model and you understand that. Also look at the anatomy of the tube here at the bottom. It's very different with the top. See how the enamel and the way God create the enamel of the upper tube is not the same as well as uh, uh, the top. You can see they're very different. So again, the anatomy of the tube and the uh, molar here is have very prominent, uh, uh, we, what we call here is um, the uh, the functional cusp. So this is functional cusp, functional cusp, functional cusp, functional cusp. Functional cusp means the cusp that allow the food uh, to be in contact with the opposing tube. So right here, okay? This is called a non-functional cusp, where the f usually the bottom tube doesn't contact much. But the inside here, we call those are developmental grooves, and we also call fossa. So here, developmental groove and fossa in the middle with the, the deepest spot there. Here is the anterior tip. Uh, so this is a canine, lateral, central incisor, central incisor, lateral, canine. This is called the um, second premolar, first premolar. So in dentistry in America, we call this the first premolar, second premolar, first molar, second molar. And third molar is not present in here.